Birding in Germany during winter can be a very different experience to birding in South Africa. Even though these aren't attractive conditions for birding, there's still an amazing variety of birds to see. Eurasian blue tits are common garden birds and are recognized by their blue crowns and their yellow underparts. This greater spotted woodpecker is making the most of the sunshine. It spent quite a while foraging for food on the trunk of this tree. When I had a close-up view of this bird, I was able to see that it's quite different looking compared to the woodpeckers found in southern Africa. These birds are also known as hedge sparrows, and during the nesting season, both the males and females can have multiple partners. Great tits are clever birds and they've been seen using sticks as tools to extract insects from crevices. The Eurasian wren is a tiny bird that's very energetic. Usually it's difficult to see because of its quick movements, so it was a treat to see it singing out in the open, and to see how it flicked snow from its perch when it flew off. Because we were birding in the middle of winter and it was particularly cold, most of the bodies of the water that we went to check out were frozen and on one of the outings we pretty much only saw a field of cows. But when we did come across birds, the views we had were always good. There are several species of birds commonly referred to as robins, but the most well-known species is the European robin. And it's famous for its melodic song that is often heard during the winter months. The Eurasian nuthatch is a small and colourful bird, which is very interesting to watch because of its unusual foraging style. 
These birds are able to walk head first down tree trunks because of their sharp claws that help them grip onto the tree bark. In the middle of this frozen lake there was a particular spot where the ice hadn't formed yet and that was swarming with hundreds of waterfowl from different species. These birds had flocked to this area to access the available water. Some species were much more abundant than others. One of the most common water birds in Germany is the mallard duck. You'll often see these guys paddling around in ponds and rivers. The male and female birds look nothing alike. The Eurasian kestrel is a fierce bird of prey found in Europe and Asia. With its striking appearance and powerful talons, it preys on small animals like mice and birds. It's also adapted to urban environments and can be seen perched on streetlights and buildings. Eurasian kestrels are capable of hovering in one spot for extended periods of time. As they hold their position in the air, they scan the ground below them. 
Their ability to hover in the air is due to their powerful wings which can beat rapidly. The ring-necked pheasant is known for its striking and colourful plumage. The male has a bright red face and greenish blue head and a long iridescent tail. Its beauty isn't just in its vibrant colours but also in the intricate patterns and designs of its feathers which make it a unique and striking species. These two greater white fronted geese were seen in an open field and I tried really hard to set up and get some footage of them, not knowing the next day I would see a few thousand of them together. Birding at lakes and other water bodies was much more productive than forest birding. The trees in some forests are quite tall and the birds tend to stay high up, making them more challenging to spot. On the other hand, water birds seem to be more relaxed and easier to find, which makes for a more comfortable and less physically demanding birding experience, especially when carrying camera equipment and a tripod. The mute swan is a large and majestic bird that is pure white feathers and a distinctive orange bill. This individual was gracefully gliding across the water amongst the many other bird species. As the name suggests, these ducks have a distinctive tuft of feathers on their heads. They are often seen diving underwater to catch their prey. These two black-headed gulls were harassing the Eurasian coot because they wanted to share its meal. The greater crested grebe is a stunning water bird with a distinctive red eye and long slender neck. They can spend a minute underwater while hunting for fish and other prey. This individual was a bit too far away though. What was interesting was that most of the lakes had a rocky base, which made the water super clear and transparent. Water bodies that have a soil base don't have water that's quite this clear. The best looking water birds that I got to see were these common golden eyed ducks. They really have a striking appearance. The males have glossy green heads, white bodies and black necks while the females have brownish grey feathers. But what really makes them stand out are their bright yellow eyes which gives them an almost otherworldly look. Even if you're not particularly interested in birds I'm sure the common golden eye will still get your attention. In general the weather was highly unpredictable and even during periods of calm winds and sunshine it could rapidly shift and start raining.
but when the conditions were favourable, bird watching was excellent, particularly in this location just outside of a small town. Common moorhens move through the water with extreme smoothness and if you're not paying attention, one can glide right past you. Seeing this Eurasian kingfisher was a definite highlight. These birds are iconic to Europe and feature in many European wildlife documentaries. This particular location was so productive I had to return the next morning. The sun was out and I was hopeful that there'd be some good bird sightings. The grey heron from the previous day was still around. The European goldfinch is a really cool little bird. It's super colourful with bright red and yellow markings on its face and wings. These birds are definitely worth keeping an eye out for. Thank you so much for watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing and learning about the different bird species that you can see in Germany during the winter season. If you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll know when future videos are uploaded. Mm -hmm.